Today we're going to be installing the Trail Gear 2.0 Performance Bump Stop Kit. Um, we're going to be installing it today on this 2021 Toyota Tacoma. This bump stop kit is compatible with all Tacomas 2005 to the current model year. That covers our second and our third gen Tacomas. And this is in the place of the stock hanger right here. Let's go ahead and get started. Firstly over here we have our grinder. This is going to be used to take off those original rivets on the truck. This we have our impact just take off the rim. So if you prefer go with that uh, long ratchet wrench. Doesn't matter. Our socket to go ahead and take off our lug nuts. This is going to be our 5 8 for our front side of our bolt to reinstall our new brackets. 5 8 for the rear side. This is going to be on the back of your frame. This is our spanner wrench for our bump stops. This is going to be included in your kit, so you can go ahead and use the one that we've provided. The alternative option to grinding these rivets all the way down is to put some notches in them and go ahead and hit them with the chisel and the hammer. Also, some good safety equipment. We got a good set of gloves, our face shield, our eye protection, and our hearing protection for when we're underneath there grinding. Our first step is going to be just removing the rims so that we have access to our work area. Now that we have the tire off, the next step is to go ahead and remove whatever existing bump stop that you currently have. And this is just gonna give us a little bit more room to work in here, as well as prevent it from just interfering when we're grinding this original mount off. So our next step, once we have everything kind of out of the way down here, start on grinding this old bracket out. So there's two ways of going about this. Either we can take a grinding disc, take these all the way down until they're flush with this bracket and then punch them out. Or alternatively, we can take more of a cutoff wheel. We can do a cross pattern and then we can punch them out with the chisel. So whichever one you are more comfortable with or your grinder fits in the truck better, you know, in one configuration or the other, that's the one I would recommend going with. Now for this step, Make sure you wear all of your PPE. We're gonna be putting on our face shield, our hearing protection, and our gloves. This is a tight area. Make sure that you're wearing all the proper safety equipment. Specifically on the driver's side, you have these two rivets on the underneath. The front side of the bracket this rivet's awful close to your gas tank here. So make sure when you get that grinder in there that it's oriented correctly and you're not throwing all the sparks or possibly nicking that fuel tank. This is the most critical of all the rivets. All the other ones don't really have too, too much around them, but be very, very careful when you orient that grinder in here for this one. Make sure you know which way that wheel is spinning so that when you get it in, you're throwing those sparks away from your fuel tank. Once you have removed the original plate, you're going to want to grind these down flat with the frame because when they were installed, they have that little ridge on this side of the frame. So they're not going to want to give way. Trust me, I've tried drilling and just beating them out when they were flush with the original bracket. So what you're going to want to do is take your flap wheel and you're going to want to bring these down flush with the frame. Now, when you're doing this, you don't want to get too far into the frame. So it would be a great idea to get a couple different grits of flap wheel and get progressively lighter and lighter with your touch so that when you get down to the frame, you're taking the absolute minimum amount that you possibly can in order to preserve your truck, in order to prevent rust, in order to do anything that would harm your frame, especially back here in such a critical area. Once you're done and you're ground flat and you've punched these out, go ahead throw a quick coat of paint on it. That way when you throw our new bracket on there, you can rest assured that there's nothing going on behind that you're gonna discover down the road. So once you have all of those original rivets punched out, you can go ahead and fit up your new bracket. So with this new bracket, the Trail Gear logo goes to the front on both sides, so that's all you have to remember. And as a general rule, when you fit anything like this up with a little bit of variance in where they put the factory holes, 
just make sure to go ahead and just loosely thread in each bolt. Make sure all four bolts are in and then go ahead and tighten them down just so you don't get one tight and then the other one doesn't fit quite right. And we're gonna put one washer on the front side of the frame. We're gonna go ahead and stick that 5 8 wrench on the back side, 5 8 on a ratchet on the front and go ahead and tighten them all down. You can let the frame do the work and hold that wrench in the back for you. So now that we have our bracket installed on the top, before we install the actual bump stop, we want to deal with the bottom side. We want to make sure that we have a surface for that bump to hit. So we're going to be installing, this is our flip kit, this is our plate with, that comes with our flip kit with a provision for that striker to hit right here. I'm just going to be switching out the plate because we already have some of our U-bolts and everything on here. So that would be just like for like hardware anyway. Alternatively, if you ordered the stock configuration bump striker pad, this is what'll come with your kit. And all that will do is just slip over that bolt in the center of your leaf spring and provide this area for that bump stop to hit. Before you loosen your U-bolts, just make sure that your axle is supported so that your suspension doesn't come down suddenly on you. So now that we have those jack stands bracing that axle, we can go ahead and loosen these up. If you can fit your impact in there to undo these and back these off, more power to you, that will go quicker. Once you get that old hardware out of there, you have two options, like I mentioned before. You have our stock configuration spring striker pad, which will sit just like this over that bolt in your leaf spring pack, and it's braced actually to the pack itself. Or, alternatively, we do have our flip kit, which also provides you that area for that bump stop to strike, and that is what we will actually be installing on this truck. Once you have your top bracket all tightened down and you have your bottom striking surface torqued to spec and you have everything ready to go, the final step is, is to install your actual bump stop. Actual setup of your bump stop, the heights, the measurements, um, what application might be best for your vehicle, and some of the good rules of thumb for setting this up will be covered in another video. We'll link that in the description for you guys to go check out, but for now, We'll just get it in the truck and get it mocked up so that you can see what this is going to look like. So, go ahead and tighten down these rings to get them snug. Throw the locking ring on there. And now when this is all ready to go, you can go ahead and tighten it down. We do provide the spanner wrench that will fit our bump stops. So no matter what you order, you will have the correct wrench to go ahead and cinch those into place and get them all tight and ready to go. Keep in mind that when you actually look at the center line of our bumps, they will be slightly off to the rear because as your leaf spring naturally travels up, it will push it slightly rearward and it will cause this to strike in the center of your strike pad. So keep in mind that that will happen slightly, but right now we have our bump aligned and ready to go hit the trails. So now that we got this side all tidied up, the steps for the other side are basically identical. Some of the clearance points are a little bit different. Make sure you watch for all the lines and keep clear of all that stuff when you're grinding. But other than that, it's pretty much the same process on the other side. Now with the brackets on both sides, all you need to worry about for alignment is the trail gear logo. The trail gear logo always goes forward, but other than that, you can bolt right up on either side. This completes the install of your Trail Gear 2.0 Performance Bump Stop Kit. We hope this video has helped you in your installation. For more information, you can go to trail-gear.com.